Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup look that I think is very on trend for February and it's a red lip. February is just a very romantic month, like the love month. I wanted to create a look that I saw on Madeline Klein actually. And I was obsessed with this because it's so classy and it's such a classic red lip. The key to a red lip is not to do anything too much and not to like, go crazy with the eye makeup. Leave everything natural and let the lip do the work for the look because the lip is what's going to make the look come alive basically. So I wanna show you guys my take on the perfect red lip makeup. I'm excited because I never do a red lip and I feel like a red lip is so intimidating for a lot of people and even to me, I still prefer prefer to go for a nude lip, but I do want to learn how to get more comfortable with wearing a red lip and how to you know, do a look that creates that red lip very effortlessly and isn't too much. So I think once you master the red lip, it really is just so classy. It's so sexy. It's so feminine. So without further ado, let's get started and please make sure you guys first give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and you want to see more makeup videos, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, things like that. I'm going to be doing a voiceover and I can't wait to recreate this look for you guys. So let's get started. Start with skincare. The key to a red lip is glowing skin. I'm going to be using the skincare line Dalba, which is found on Amazon. They're a vegan brand inspired by Alba Piedmont in Italy, which is a world heritage site known for their finest white truffles. Starting with their bestseller, which is the number one face mist in Amazon US. So this face mist actually comes in two layers. On the top, you have the oil layer, and on the bottom, you have the serum layer. The serum layer targets wrinkles and fine lines. Oil layer is what really gives an insane glow to the skin. It really locks in that moisture so that your skin is not feeling dry. I personally love using this before applying my makeup to give an automatic boost of glow and hydration. It really brightens and wakes up my skin before applying makeup. Next, I'm gonna use the serum, which is a very concentrated version of the face mist. It has the same concept as the mist, except in the serum layer, there is 10,000 ppm of the white truffle extract, which is super concentrated. Extremely dry skin at the moment, so this gives me instant hydration and deep nourishment. The moisture retention lasts up to 100 hours. The serum pairs amazingly with the first spray serum. It really maximizes the antioxidant care that way. None of their products feel sticky or oily. It just literally gives you that beautiful, insane glow, that healthy glow. As you guys can see, immediately after applying that serum, my skin just looks so much more radiant. I look less dull. I look more alive. Like my skin is literally glowing. You guys can see it right there and this glow is going to radiate into the makeup look so i'm so excited my last step for the ultimate glow is their double serum and cream so this is a two-in-one jar with the serum and cream you can use the serum and cream to target different parts of your face so based off of your skincare needs you can use your own customizable dual formula as you guys can see in the image above to meet your skincare needs depending on what you are struggling with. I personally have combination skin, so I used the serum in my T-zone to calm and hydrate my skin. The serum is infused with vegan ceramides that give the skin hydration and calm any irritation. So I'm then going to take the intense cream to put on my dry U-zone in order to enrich and really get into the deepest layers there to really moisturize those areas since these are places where I get really dry. With vegan collagen, avocado oil, olive oil, and sunflower seed oil, it gives you really enriched moisturization, nutrition, and elasticity, giving you a youthful vitality. I love that I can use this on different areas of my skin and give myself a personalized formula depending on my skincare needs. Since my skin conditions change a lot throughout the year, I love that I'm able to use this in different ratios to really target what it is that I'm needing in certain moments. Also just want to mention that this whole entire line is vegan certified and clinically tested for safe use on sensitive skin. So you guys, these three steps using Dalba's align with the serum mist and then the actual serum and then the two-in-one um, moisture and serum duo, I just gave me the most insane radiant 
finish you guys i was actually amazed by the products the entire line just gave me that glow that i needed and that radiance that i needed for the perfect red lip makeup look so make sure that you guys check them out on amazon i'll have their link down below there's a reason why the face ceramist is the number one missed uh seller in the u.s it's totally worth it like my skin has never felt this glowy and radiant so check them out in the link down below on amazon onto the red lip makeup look i'm going to start with curling my lashes just so that i look a little bit more awake and i'm actually going to be using dalva's mist serum again just to like give an extra extra glow and set everything in kind of as a primer before the foundation so i am taking a light foundation this is a very natural foundation nothing full coverage for a red lip you don't want anything too cakey or too full coverage you want your skin kind of to seep through so that the emphasis is really on the lip i'm going to do a microbladed soap brow look again you want the brows to be natural you want the makeup to be natural so the brows you don't want them too harsh or to be the center of attention so i'm just going to give like that natural kind of brushed up brow look I do have some slightly sparse areas, so I'm just gonna take a powder to fill them in. I find that an eyebrow powder is a lot more or less harsh than a pencil, so this is perfect for this red lip look. I'm gonna take a contour stick with kind of like a cooler toned undertone to it rather than a warm tone, just because we want, like, we don't want this look to be too bronzy, since, like I said again, the focus is really on the lips. So anything minimal that will give you that slight contour would work great i do like to set my contour with some powders i'm just taking a cooler toned powder as well and setting the contour for the eyes i'm going to start with taking a liquid eyeshadow to kind of prime the eyes it's a very neutral color and it's just the perfect primer for this look i think i forgot to set my nose contour so i'm just setting it really quickly with the powder Starting on the eyeshadow, I'm taking a peachy kind of tone. It's very peachy. It's not too brown. It's a little bit warmer, and I'm just putting that all over the lid. This was the closest shade match that I found was similar to the Madeline Klein look. So as you guys can see, I'm taking a brown eyeshadow, applying it on an angled brush like that, and creating a line along my lash line along with a slight wing. Based off of the inspo pic that I showed you guys, she did have a brown wing liner. It was a little more smoky, so I just smoked it out and brought it more into the inner corners of my eyes to make it a little more intense. Taking a brown toned shade and creating depth into the inner corner of my eyelid there just to create a little bit more drama. Taking a very lightweight concealer, I'm applying it under my eyes to brighten and I'm also going to put it under my contour as well to make it a little more sharp and defined and then blend it out. Okay, and then let's set the concealer with some translucent powder. For a little bit more edge and smokiness, I'm taking a brown liner and putting it on the waterline. It's just going to create a more sultry eye and it's a lot more just like, I don't know, sexy. Wait, I found the right word. It's the siren eye effect. So this just gives that siren eye effect and I loved it so much. I'm then going to take a brown mascara. I did see that Madeline was wearing a brown mascara and it just really suits the red lip look so well. For blush, I'm taking a very peachy toned blush to kind of go with the eyes and this is cream so it's very natural and it's going to blend out very well for this look and then I'm going to set it with a peachy powder blush so that it stays in place. 
Then I'm gonna take a liquid highlight really quickly and blend it out at the highest points of my cheeks. Now the part we've all been waiting for, of course, the dramatic red lip. So of course you want to start with a lip liner. So I'm going for a red that's not too just like intense. This has more of a kind of peach undertone to it, I would say. So I am just filling in the lips. That is key to a red lip. You have to use lip liner. And then I'm going in with this red color. I love this red. It is the perfect red lip. It's not too much. It's still like wearable for i don't know every day or whenever you want to wear a red lip it's a lot more natural than like a very bold dark lip i just love the undertone it has and it goes really well with my complexion guys i'm obsessed this is so classic i'm gonna set the makeup look with the dalba uh, face serum mist this is just gonna give it like an insane glow at the end do you guys see that radiance like it's automatic. It's pretty insane. Um, love this as a makeup setting spray as well. This is the finished look, you guys. I really followed that inspo pick and I am obsessed. I'm now more willing to probably wear a red lip. This is so classy and so sexy. Like I said, the key to a perfect red lip is glowing skin and Dalva gave me the most insane radiance. You guys check them out on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this red lip and make sure you guys recreate it. Do not be scared of it. I love it so much. I'll see you guys in my next video.